Hello and welcome to Blue Airways. On this channel I upload aviation related stuff, so if you like aviation, you should consider subscribing. This is part 2 of me telling about the Concorde. So if you haven't watched the first part of it, you should watch it. There are some information you might want to know. But in this video I'll tell more information about the Concorde. By the way, the reason why I'm making this video is because 1. Part 1 was too long and 2. You voted that I should make a video about the Concorde. So here I am. So uh, let's continue where we left off. The Concorde was produced from 1965 to 1979 and only 20 were built. That is if you include six non-commercial planes. The Concorde was a narrow body plane with only four seats in a row. That is not that much. That meant that it could only carry from 92 to 128 passengers. And now you just have to think that this plane used a lot of fuel. So yeah, that wasn't that many passengers. The plane needed three people minimum to fly. The three people needed were two pilots and one flight engineer. The Concorde was a plane with a tailless design. A tailless design aircraft is a plane with no horizontal stabilizers. If you do not know what a horizontal stabilizer is, it is just those so called small wings at the back of the aircraft. They are actually not small wings, they don't even generate lift, but that is what most people call them because they don't know what they do. What they do is that they are there to stabilize the aircraft. So anyway, there was a bit of fact about the horizontal stabilizer. Anyway, some planes though do not have a horizontal stabilizer at the back of the aircraft. Some planes have it at the front of the aircraft. This kind of design is called the cannot wing. One of the planes that had this feature is the TU-144, which is actually a copy of the Concorde. Though on the TU-144 the cannot wings can retract for less drag, as they were only needed at slow speed, because the Concorde wasn't very... no, not the Concorde, the TU-144 was, wasn't very stable at slow speed. The Concorde operated until the 26th of November 2003, having been flown for 34 years. The Concorde had a very successful career, flying a lot in those 34 years. Though the Concorde did not avoid incidents and accidents. Incidents and accidents. Though most of them survived, there was at least one whole loss and a few incidents. I'll now tell you a bit about one incident and one accident. Now, here's the incident. On the 12th of April 1989, Concorde 102 had its top tail rudder crumple a bit off mid-flight, causing vibrations. The vibrations grew stronger as the plane slowed. If you want to know more about this or this incident, the awesome YouTuber Mini Aircraft Investigation has made a video about it. I'll try to leave a link to his video in the description. And on the 25th of July 2000, Air France flight 4590 crashed after a fire broke out under the wing. The fire made engine 2 fail due to the fire and engine 1 to also lose thrust. The plane did become airborne, but not for long. A bit later the plane crashed into a motel killing 113 people and injuring 6 people on the ground. Everybody on the plane died that day. It was a sad day which is commonly known as the end for the Concorde. Only three years later the Concorde would be retired from service. Mini Air Crash Investigation has also made a video about this crash. I'll try to leave a link to the video in the description. Even though the Concorde stopped flying years before I was even born, I've actually seen a Concorde. 
Here are all the videos I have of the Concorde. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye.